also share with other people has been able to help me get to where I'm at today. I want you guys to really understand there's nobody else in this industry, right? In the industry of network marketing that I trust with my bank account, except for Matthew Rosa, right? And I say that highly because this guy, we built a genuine relationship the past, I'd say maybe what, two years now, right, Matt? And it's not just about business. It's not just about the pips. It's not just about the chairman run, right? And it's kind of crazy that we have these conversations and we really, you know, sit there and we tell ourselves, like, what does it take to go multiple six figures, multiple seven figures? And, you know, it's a lot more than actually just putting in the work, right? And tonight, guys, you're, 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 you're here at the right place at the right time with the right people to, to be able to be on this cover right now is a privilege, right? Half, literally all of you guys are a part of my organization. And I want to thank every single one of you guys that are a part of my team because without you guys, I wouldn't be where I'm at today. But guys, I made the call a few, uh, a few days ago and I said, you know what? It's time to pull out the heavy ammunition because when I need help, when I need somebody there to be for me, right? This guy is literally the guy that I could depend on, right? As you guys know, Mr. Matthew Rosa, Chairman 500, very busy guy, always traveling around the world. But to know that he stopped literally, literally what he was doing to get on this call tonight to share value with me and all of you guys, guys, is literally something you guys should not take for granted because his time is valuable just like ours. But you guys need to understand, people ring and call this guy up every single day asking him for help. And, and, and the fact that he drops what he does to help anyone and everyone in his company is literally phenomenal. So, guys, a little quick story about him. You know, I met Matt uh, about well, maybe two, yeah, like three years ago online. And it's kind of crazy how we met. Me and Matt were actually kind of beefing with each other, right? Back and forth on, on, on Facebook. And goes to find out, not only now are we only best friends, close friends, but we're also business partners, right? And this guy, you know, from being able to, you know, work multiple jobs, you know, this guy was in the industry of network marketing, was actually a part of the company I was first part of. You know, he's been able to see, you know, quantum leaps of success from where he started to now. Guys, this guy is amongst the, 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 the list of top 100 network marketers. And guys, he's number six. He's in the top 10 of top network marketers in the entire world, right? So this guy went from, you know, being the guy in the room that was the most excited, the most motivated, to now everybody sees exactly where he's going. And, you know, he's been able to build an organization of over 40 to 50,000 customers amongst IML. So I tell people this, if you want to learn how to go chairman, go talk to a chairman. You want to learn how to make six, seven figures trading? Go talk to the six, seven figure trader. Because like they say, you do what they do, say what they say, eventually you'll get what they have. And that's what I've been able to do literally the past, I'd say, you know, year and a half now with Matthew Rosa. And this guy, like I said, a caring guy, all about the people at the end of the day. You know, this guy might look, you know, fly all the time wearing Gucci, Louis, but guess what? He's a very genuine guy, right? He, he remembers where he comes from. And the thing that I love about this guy is his energy. The energy he brings to the table is literally like no other. He will light a fire under your behind. So guys, tonight, tonight, if you do not have notebook and paper, I highly recommend you, you go get some notebook and paper because this guy, when he speaks, liquid gold comes out of this guy's mouth. So guys, without further ado, please pay attention to the next person I'm going to bring up, which is the man, the myth, the legend himself, Mr. Chairman 500. Matthew, are you there, bro? Matt, don't mute him. Give me one second. All right, I'm mute. Matt, you there? Yes, sir. Can you hear me? Awesome, brother. Take it away. Awesome, awesome. Well, first of all, I've been so damn excited for this call. Um, since Wealthy hit me up, it's crazy because I'm, 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 I'm every day, multiple times a day, people are contacting me. Matt, I need you for this. Matt, I need you for that. Matt, I need you for this. Nine times out of ten, when Gustavo's contacting me, it's to say I appreciate you. It's to say thank you. It's to show love. It's to get positive updates. So the moment that he needs anything, I drop what it is that I'm doing. And I make sure that I make it happen. You guys are working with one of my favorite leaders, my little brother. And I don't say that lightly. I don't throw that term around a lot. Like this guy will be in my life for the rest of my life type of situation. And, you know, he's been at my home. We're breaking bread. We, we, I mean, he knows my family. Like this is, I know why it is that he's doing it. You guys are working 
who's one of the best in the entire company, one of the most hungry individuals, and somebody that just really lays it on the line for his fam, right, for his team. So again, Gus, I love you, brother. I thank you for having me on this call. I was going through the list of names on this call right now, and I know a lot of people. I don't know some of you guys. For those of you guys that I don't know, it's a pleasure to finally get connected. Uh, for those of you guys that I do know, it's so damn good to see you again, right? I have something special for you guys. I'm actually gonna release a training that I have not ran yet at all. You guys are the first 65 people to ever hear this training. So um, yeah, it, 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 it's very special to me because you guys will be able to give me feedback on the value that you've been able to take from this, right? Um, I'm not perfect. I'm not perfect at all. I've been in this industry for the past six years now, right? I'm 26 years old. I've seen extremely high highs, as, as we would see on the charts, and I've seen some insane lower lows, lows that you couldn't even imagine, right? And it's not, today's call isn't about that. Today's call isn't about me, right? You guys will eventually hear enough about me. It doesn't matter. Today, I'm going to give you guys as much value on skill sets that you need to develop in order to reach that next level. Because Walty told me that he was getting the builders, the builders of the builders, the mentors, mentors on this call this evening. The individuals that are looking at, you know, I, I, have, I have love and respect for all the ranks, P600, 1000, 2000, 5000, but I'm talking to the future chairman, right? I'm talking, I'm talking to the individuals that are going, you see, there's four types of individuals in this business. There's the, there's the sometimer. Sometimer does this whenever they have the opportunity, whenever they have the chance. You know, I'm sitting on the couch right now. I guess I'll watch a, a, an IMO uh, TV session or, or, you know, I don't have anything to do this week and I guess I'll watch this. They don't sacrifice, right? Then you got the part-timer. The part-timer is the type of individual that's like, you know what? I have X, Y, and Z going on in my life, but that doesn't matter to me. I'm going to make sure that I go ahead and I, I sacrifice at least 20 hours a week, 15 hours a week in order to make this happen. Then you got the full-timers, the ones that, so what, it doesn't matter if they have a job. It doesn't matter if they own a business. It doesn't matter if they're a full-time parent. It does not matter. They're going to do whatever it takes in order to make this happen and sacrifice at least 35 to 40 hours a week for this business. And then you got the all the timers, right? The crazy ones, the people like me and Gustavo that are doing this literally every second of every day because we understand that if we rock this thing for the next 10 years, I'm not trying to take care of my family. I'm trying to take care of the generations beyond them, right? I'm not, I'm not trying to help my family become, become, become stable. I'm trying to make sure that my grandkids' grandkids are taken care of. And we understand that if we take advantage of this for the next three to five years, 10 years, that we're going to have the opportunity to do exactly just that. So uh, for those of you guys that don't know me, my name is Matt Rosa. I'm 26 years old, again, chairman 500 in the company, and I am excited to bring to you what I am about to bring to you, but I'm going to give you guys 150% of me, right? I'm, I, I promise you guys, I'm going to give you guys 150% of me, but I'm going to need you guys to do me two separate favors. First of which is that you take out some way to take notes, whether it's on your cell phone, whether you're writing it, whether you're, 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 you're recording it, some of us are audio learners, some of us are visual learners, but it is a waste of your time if you do not write down what it is that I'm about to teach you because it is a proven fact that you're gonna forget the vast majority of what it is that you're gonna to learn today if you do not write this thing down, right? Second thing that I'm gonna ask is that you teach every single new individual in your organization or that will grow in your organization or that will join your organization what it is that you are about to learn this evening. Because I always say this, it's not about what it is that you can do. It's not about what it is that, that, that Gustavo can do. It's not about what it is that anybody on this call can do, including myself. It's what we could teach. Because if we can teach it, that is what's duplicatable. Duplication leads to momentum. Momentum leads to residual income that each and every single one of us are looking for. So real quick, guys, if you are excited and ready to take notes and run this thing all the way, I need a one, one, one inside of the group chats. Let's go one, one, one. Lego. Gustavo's the most fired, one, fired up one on this call. Come on, come on, come on. Now 75 people on this call now. All right, cool. 
Don't be that person that gets off of the call early and misses a gem that might take you chairman. I'm letting you know right now, do not be that person. Sacrifice the next 30 minutes of your life to make sure that you are on point, all right? So look, documentation of a conversation. I have my notes here for you guys, right? So look, every single day, every single day, I'm contacted by individuals asking me, Matt, how do I hit the next level? Matt, how do I hit the next rank? Matt, what do I need to do in order to make this thing happen, right? Every single day, individuals understand that Jason and I, we max out the entire compensation plan. If there's, if there, I, I'm not the smartest person in, in, in the room. I'm, 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 not, I'm, not, I'm not the best trader in the room. I'm not the best looking person in the room. But if there's one thing I know, it's iMarkets Live. And I know this thing like the back of my hand. I joined the company in November of 2015. So it is about to be, I think on the, on the 15th through the 20th, around there, it's about to be three year anniversary for me and Jason that we've been in this company, right? And you know, the first 60 days I came out running. First it was 60 days of being a customer. Then after that, it was 60 days of building. In those 60 days, my goal was chairman in 30 days. I had never hit a six figure income before. As a matter of fact, I was never able to keep a job for more than 90 days, right? So. My first goal was chairman out the gate in 30 days. We didn't hit the goal. We hit it in 60 days, right? And we were able to hit what was called chairman eight at the time. Same numbers, just paid less. Now iMarkets Live pays a little bit more. And then I stood at that rank for a little bit. Then I dropped rank. And when I dropped the rank, I thought that I was on a downtrend. What a lot of us didn't realize was that it was just the market correcting itself. It was still on an uptrend, but there were certain lessons that I needed to learn in order to get from Chairman 10 to Chairman 25. So I got back up to Chairman 10, right? I, I, I thought that I was ready, and then I stood what most people would consider stagnant, right? I hate that word, that terminology, stagnancy, because it has a negative condensation undertone to it, right? It, 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 it makes it sound on a negative basis, right? Now, what I found was consolidation, right? right? What I found was consolidation. What I found was stability, right? And during that stable moment in my business, maybe some of you guys are going through it right now. Maybe you're P1000, you've been what you think stuck at P1000. Here's P600, you've been stuck at P600, right? I hate, I hate when I hear that. I hate when, I, when people hit me up and they're like, man, I'm stuck, I've been stuck here. No, you've been blessed to stay at P600 for X amount of time. You've been blessed to stay at P1000. You've been blessed to be able to be at the rank that you're at right now. First steps first, you need to, you need to appreciate, not, not, I'm not saying you got to you got to you got to be 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 comfortable with where it is that you are but you got to appreciate where it is that you're at right gratitude is that attitude right but a lot of the times we're not there people people hit me up man I'm grinding I'm gr and, and and guys what I'm about to tell you I can only tell you about things that I've struggled with myself I can't teach you guys about anything else I can only teach you about what it is that I've struggled with in my life myself right so a lot of people hit me up, Matt, I've been grinding, I've been grinding, bro. I'm working 30 hours a week, I'm doing this, I'm doing that. And I'm still not at the rank. It has to be a lesson or a skill set or a responsibility. I'm gonna say that again, write this down. It has to be a lesson or a skill set or a responsibility that you have not possessed as of yet in order to get to that chairman rank in order to get to that P5,000, 2,000, 1,600 if you're a 150 rank, right? This is the title of this training. Write this down because this is it's the first time I ever give this training. Chase the skill sets and the responsibility rather than the rank. Chase the skill sets and the responsibilities rather than the rank. So today I had an individual hit me up and he said, he's from, he's from London. And he hit me up, he said, Matt, bro, I've been stuck. And that magic word is stuck. I've been stuck at P150 for the past three months. So I hit him up and I said, all right, cool. There's nothing wrong with that. Let me ask you a question. What are your strengths? What are your skill sets? And he said, well, you know, I, I, I'm amazing at trading. I said, perfect. That's one skill set. And then he started going into like, I, I've been posting up. He started telling me all the things he's been doing. I've been posting on Instagram. I've been hitting up people. I've been contacting. I've been doing X, Y, and Z. I said, that's not what I asked you, bro. Again, what are your skill sets? What are you good at? He didn't even notice his strengths. 
A lot of us are not hitting the next drink because we're trying to perfect our weaknesses instead of maximizing our strengths, right? That's why we have a team. So our weaknesses are covered by other people, but we need to maximize our strengths. If that's, if that's a God-given strength, then you need to utilize it and 10x that, right? So I told him, I said, so, 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 so I tell him this and he says, oh, well, you know, I, I'm, I'm a great, I'm a great listener. I'm a great listener. I'm, I'm, I'm fired up all the time. I have a good attitude. I said, bro, that's amazing. I love that. But you're still not giving me skill sets. You're giving me a trait now. You have a good trait. That's dope. But traits don't get you paid directly. They get you paid indirectly, but they don't get you paid directly. Yo, what are your skill sets? And what rank do you want to hit? That's when I wrote this training. I said, okay, he doesn't even recognize his skill sets. So I told him, I said, what goal do you want to hit? What's the rank? He said, bro, I'd be so happy with P1000. I said, perfect. When's the last time you spent time with a P1000? When's the last time you observed a P1000? When's the last time you asked them what their responsibilities are as a P1000? When's the last time you reacted the way a P1000 does? You see, you want the rank, but you're not familiarizing yourself with the skill sets and the responsibility that comes with that rank. Now, I understand with network marketing, there's no, there's no like a, a, a guide, right? There's no, there's no outline that says do X, Y, and Z, and you're gonna get this. A lot of times we run into network marketing, we're running left, right, up, down, trying to figure it out along the way. Pray to God that somebody gives us a little bit of knowledge that'll take us and help us last another nine months. Because I promise you, every 90 days, I wanted to quit. On my come up every 90 days, I was like, F this, I'm out, I'm going back to college, I'm not doing this, I, 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 I just can't. And every 90 days, there was something that somebody gave me, a little tidbit, a little nugget, a piece of advice that allowed me to stick it out that extra 90 days. And I ran every 90 days, every 90 days, every 90 days, right? And those skill sets that I learned along the way, I'm gonna teach you guys right now for each and every single one of these ranks. So I'm giving you a guideline. I'm giving you the blueprint on what it is that you need to learn for every rank from P150 to Chairman 10. Now, this is exclusive information that it took me years to figure out. And with great power comes great responsibility, right? So with this, you're going to learn a lot. But you need to implement what it is that you learn starting tonight, not tomorrow, not on Monday when, 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 when you go out and you get lit and you have a great time during the weekend. No, tonight, right after this call, start implementing it. Sacrifice this weekend and start practicing. A lot of y'all are like, man, he's still sacrificed. No, I'm, I'm still going to hit the club. I'm still going to play video games. I'm still going to have fun. I'm still going to – I promise you, all that's fun. But it's a lot more fun when you're a chairman. Partying is a lot more fun when you're a chairman. Right? So trust me, take this weekend and sit the fun out, sit the good times out and focus on these skill sets if you're serious about hitting these ranks, right? So again, chase the skill set and responsibility rather than the rank, right? Rather than the rank. Platinum 150. Platinum 150, I feel that if you can help an individual hit Platinum 150 a day on your team, you're going to be able to keep the poverty away in your life, right? Again, if you can help a person hit Platinum 150 a day in your organization, you're going to be able to keep the poverty away in your life, right? How do you hit P150? There's three major skill sets that you need to learn on the journey to Platinum 150. Now, all of us have heard, if you have it, there's a book by Darren Hardy called The Compound Effect, right? And in this book, he talks about compounding, whether it's money, whether it's feelings, whether it's, it's, it's life occurrences, uh, maybe responsibilities in your life. And you compound everything just like you do in Forex, right? And you see a massive end result, right? So you're going to be learning different skill sets each and every single one of these ranks, and you're going to be compounding the skill sets until you smack chairman right in the mouth. Right? So P150, P150. Platinum 150, in my opinion, is the most important rank in the entire company. Because if you could do this and rank up once, you could rank up 50 times, you could rank up 100 times if you wanted to, right? As long, and, and, and not only that, you could also teach people how to rank up as well. Because you're going to see how the skill sets 
remain similar, right? So P150, three skill sets, first of which is probably the most cliche thing in the industry, and it is master the why. Master the why. A lot of us, I, I, was, talking to my, I was talking to my creative director, AWOL, today, right? And I'm talking to him, he's like, bro, you know what I realized in this industry? I said, what? He goes, people are liars. I said, what do you mean, bro? He said, not to me. He goes, but they lie to themselves on the daily. He said, these people are liars, bro. They lie to themselves on the daily. They tell me, oh, they have a why. They explain their why to me, their families. How could somebody quit on their why? How could somebody quit on their why? You're not quitting on, 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 on yourself. I'll let myself down any day before I let my little brother down before I let the people in my life down, the people that I care about, right? You gotta master that why. I break your why into an acronym. Your why will help you. Your why will help you get through the tough times in your life. Your why will help you get through the stagnancy in your business because there's gonna be stagnancy in your business, right? Your why will help you enjoy the higher times that much more. Your why is the driving force behind why it is that you do what it is that you do. You see, there's two ways to get people to do what you want. The first way is to inspire. The second way is to manipulate. I'm going to say that again. There are two ways to get people to do what it is that you want. The first way is to inspire. The second way is to manipulate. And the only thing, those are two complete opposites. You want to inspire. You never want to manipulate. And the only thing that's going to separate the two of these, the only thing that's going to separate the two of these is your why. The reasoning behind why it is that you're doing what it is that you're doing. Well, if not, you're going to be easily confused whether or not you're either being manipulative or you're being manipulated. Or if you're being inspirational, motivated, or you're being motivated and inspired. The why. The why is the concrete foundation, right? So that's number one. Number two, you need to master the perfect invite. You need to master the perfect invite. In order to hit platinum, I mean, to be real, you could hit any rank. You don't have to be the best speaker. I'm going to be 100% honest. You don't got to be the best speaker. You don't have to be the best presenter. You don't have to be the best closer. You got to be the best inviter, AKA the best promoter. You got to be the best promoter in the entire, entire business. Nobody should be able to out promote you, right? Nobody should be able to out promote you. So you got to learn the perfect invite. Fortunately for you, I have the perfect invite in a training format in a training format. I'm going to provide it to Gustavo. If you want it, contact Gustavo. To, a, a lot of you guys have seen the one that I did on IML Elite. Um, this is revamped. It has graphics in it. It looks really, really dope. We did it on the balcony, ocean in the background, um, something that you can utilize as a tool for your team. Um, but I'm going to give you the four steps to the perfect invite. Write this down. Write this down. Step number one. Step number one is be in a hurry. Step number two. Step number two is clear schedule. Step number three, add value. Step number four, take it away. Again, step number one, be in a hurry. Step number two, clear the schedule. Step number three, add value. Step number four, you're going to take it away, right? I'm not going to go over in depth the perfect invite. That's why we have a system. Save yourself time, energy, and money, right? Go ahead, utilize the video that I, that, that, that I recorded for you guys and learn this perfect invite, right? So the perfect invite, you got to be able to invite because the invite is the first impression to your business. And you know what they say, first impressions last what? A lifetime. So uh, last, last skill set that you need as, in, in order to hit P150 is product usage. You got to use the products. The number one reason people don't tell people about the business is because of the fact that they don't find value in the products. The reason that they don't find value in the products is because of the lack of product usage. Yeah, I, 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 I discovered this about... I want to say like eight, nine months ago, I was, I was trying to figure out how it was that I could help with my retention and decrease my attrition, right? And I was doing everything I could in order to figure this out. And what I realized was that the number one reason people were leaving was because of the fact that they weren't making money. And the number one reason that they weren't making money was because of the fact that they weren't utilizing the services. I mean, we got Gustavo on this call right now. This man is one of the services. I, I promise you, ask Gus, I promise you, Gus sends me a trade, I place a stand. I'm not even kidding. I, I, I've lost some, I've won some, but Gus sends me a trade, I place a stand. As a matter of fact, I've been up with Gus until five o'clock in the morning learning how to trade with Gus is one of my trading mentors. And we have him included in the services, right? 
If you utilize the services, you're going to make money. If you make money, you're going to naturally want to promote this thing. If you're going to promote this thing, you're going to naturally hit people in 50. So again, master the why, the perfect invite, and product usage. At Platinum 600 now, we're going to the next level, right? Platinum 600. The number one skill set you need to learn at Platinum 600 is edification. Edification. You see, in order to hit Platinum 600, right now you're at a Platinum 150 level, right? You haven't made a lot of money. You haven't seen a lot of success. You haven't seen a lot of results. And that's okay. In other industries, that's real hard to get by. But here in network marketing, I spent the first three years of my career because I wasn't making any money really, leveraging the success of successful individuals in the business. I used to, oh, when somebody was in my city, that you could not pay me to miss a meeting. You could not pay me. If there was a leader <clears throat> in my city, I would literally, now I, I promise you, you guys, side story. I had a meeting out here in Miami. Alex Morton was coming to town in my first company ever, Vima, right? And I was working. I was working. My manager wouldn't let me go. My manager wouldn't let me go. And I, he wouldn't give me the day off. I went into work that day and I pretended to throw up. That's how serious I was about this. I was like, Ugh, I can't, bro, I can't cook food. I'm, pu Ugh, I'm puking all over the place, bro, I can't. He was like, yo, you gotta go home. What the hell's wrong with you? I went, suited up, got ready for the event. <clears throat> Why? Because I knew the importance of leveraging someone else's success. I'd look people in the face, they'd be like, bro, that, that, that's that one of those scam things? Scam? All right, bet. I'm gonna show you all these people that have made X, Y, and Z money. You think this is scam money? This many people making this type of money? You're gonna tell me? What scam pays you that much? What scam? Yeah, I used to snap and leverage other people's success. I also have a trading on edification for you guys. Fortunately, right? You're gonna go to IML Elite's Facebook page. You're gonna type in uh, uh, Art of Edification. Again, that's Art of Edification. Watch the edification training. You should be the best edifier in the world, guys, because here's what edification does. It builds trust. You know, you get me on a call with somebody that's in, uh, in your circle of, of influence, right? And, you're, and, and you tell them, hey, look, you know, this is Matt. He's top leader in the business. He's killing it. Yeah, Matt, this is Paulina. Who the hell is Matt? Who the hell is Paulina? What the hell am I doing on this call? What the heck is going on? There's no trust. My guard is gonna be like this the entire conversation. I'm gonna be swaying the entire conversation. But if I get on this call, I'm like, yo, this is Matt. We got the privilege of having Matt on the call right now. Yo, let me tell you about Matt. Matt, you know, despite the money that he makes, that's not going to pay your bills. He makes a lot of it, trust me, more than me and you combined, right? But here's the thing. He's a people's people's person. This is a dude that's traveling all over the world, built up an organization of X, Y, and Z, is helping people, whether it's online, face-to-face, -face, however it is that he can help them. He's making sure that they got it. He's making sure that they have the tools, the plan, in order to build the perfect empire. And I, talk, I, I, I spoke to him about you, and I'm letting you know right now, to have him on this call, I'm humbled, I'm excited, and I appreciate his time. I'm gonna step out the way to let him handle this, but I want you to know that you're in amazing hands. Now, Matt, before I pass this on over to you, I need you to understand that you're on the phone with Paulina right now. Paulina's an absolute hitter. She's committed in life. She has really big goals, really big aspirations, and I think that she could be an amazing part of this team. And you know what? I think that you guys are gonna get along just fine. So let me put my phone on mute. Y'all two rock it out. Now I feel warm. Now I feel fuzzy. Now I'm receptive to what it is that Matt has to say. The art of edification at P600. The next skill set that you're going to learn at P600, and this may sound cliche and common sense, but my mom used to tell me that common sense ain't so common, right? And it's absolutely true. You got to learn how to follow instructions. <clears throat> you need to learn how to follow instructions. You got to be coachable. You got to be teachable. Because me being on this call right now, here's the thing. At P150, you still have the mindset of the outside world, right? You still have the, 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 the J-O-B mindset, the employee mindset. So the way you do things as an employee is not how you do things as an entrepreneur. The mindset you have, the way you react 
as an employee is not the way you do it as an entrepreneur, let alone a network marketer. You need to be willing to unlearn your old ways and be willing to learn the new ways. If you haven't read this book, write it down. It, this isn't, this isn't, this isn't suggestion. It's instruction. This is one of my mentors, Eric Worry GoPro. Eric Worry GoPro. You need to learn that and unlearn what you've learned. Now, I'm not saying to unlearn the lessons. You could keep the lessons, but unlearn those skill sets. Unlearn leveraging your time, right? I, I, unlearn, unlearn, you know, being, being a slave to somebody else, right? Unlearn that. You're going to have to unlearn. You're going to have to have a shift in mentality, a shift in, 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 in your lifestyle, a shift in, in your consciousness. You're going to have to make a cognitive effort to really, 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 really be willing to learn some new stuff, right? And in order to hit P600, that's exactly what you're going to have to do. The next skill set, the last skill set at P600, the last, last skill set of P600 is learn the importance of personal development. Learn the importance of personal development. I didn't start doing personal development till I joined the industry. So I'm 26 years old right now. That means that I went 20 years of my life without personally developing myself. And it's because no one around me knew better, right? And when I began to, when I began to learn the mindset, the skill set was secondary, but the mindset, that's where it was that I began to grow as an individual. People weren't telling me, Matt, you're growing so, people come up to me like, Matt, you've grown so much as an individual. Yeah, I was broke. I wasn't making no money. But the fact that they saw I was growing as an individual allowed them to trust me more. And when that trust was there, then they were receptive to what it was that I had to say. Once they were receptive to what it was that I had to say, I was able to get myself in there and close the deal. Right? But it took that personal development. That was the first time I've ever been introduced. If you haven't done personal development as of yet, one of the easiest ways to get started on this thing is uh, I would suggest The Secret. I strongly suggest you watch the movie The Secret, you read the book The Secret, and you start practicing stuff like that, right? Um, how to Win Friends and Influence People. That's another amazing book to get started with, right? If you want to influence individuals, uh, Start With Why by Simon Sinek. Um, leaders eat last like there's so many amazing books that you can go out and read that can teach you skill sets and the mindset that you need to obtain in order to make this thing uh, from a dream to an actual reality right so that's 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 p600 now we're getting to the juicy right we're getting to the twelve thousand dollar a year mark p1000 at this point you cannot hit p1000 by just focusing on you you need to now focus on others at P1000, the first skill set that you're going to learn is that it's not about being a king or queen. It's about being a king or queen maker. Again, it's not about being a king or queen. It's about being a king or queen maker. <clears throat> that goes back to what I taught you in the beginning. It's not about what it is that you can do. It's about what it is that we can teach, right? Second skill set that you're going to have to learn is telling your story. Telling your story at P1000. You see, when you do an event, there should be three people. There shouldn't be eight people speaking. I don't care how many egos are on the flyer, right? Flyers, I'm going to be real with you. This whole flyer mess, I personally don't even use them like that. I'm going to be real. What is this, a, a movie, a concert? We're not celebrities. I promise you, if your face is on a flyer, nobody cares. Nobody cares. If my face is on a flyer, nobody cares. That's why I stopped doing these tour flyers like, no one cares. They don't, the guests don't know who Matt Rose is. They don't care. That's to feed egos. At an event, there shouldn't be 80 people speaking. Oh, but I, I, I can do this and I need to be recognized. Yeah, recognition, it's important. Babies cry for it. Men will die for it. But at the end of the day, recognition is a time and a place you want to be recognized. Outrank everybody in the room and get recognized out in Vegas. This upcoming uh, 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 2019, right? That, that's where recognition happens. In the room during the events, there's only three speakers. I run Miami events like clockwork. I promise you, if you've been to one of my events in Miami, they're smooth, we're done within 45 minutes, 95% of the room is closed. I promise you, because we have it down to a systematic approach. Speaker number one is the individual that is setting the tone and telling their story. Speaker number one is the individual that is setting the tone and telling their story. Speaker number two, is explaining what Forex is, 
Speaker number three is explaining the products and how to close. That's, that's straight up, that, that's all you really need. If you need to add a fourth, just in case you can squeeze a fourth, but I suggest just having three people in. The first speaker should be speaking no more than five minutes. In those five minutes, you're telling your story. The purpose of being able to tell your story, this industry is best thrive, you best thrive in this industry when you are relatable. When you are relatable. The, the, the flashiness is dope, the, the vacations are dope, the, the, the cars are dope. But I'm gonna be real, guys, I drive a $50,000 car. I could afford a Lambo almost every week. I drive a $50,000 car. When I want to stunt, I'll go out and I'll rent whatever I want. But the reason I haven't pulled the trigger on that is because it's not relatable. To be 100% honest with you, plus on top of that, it's a liability. I, I, that quarter mill that I could have invested in inside of a, a, a Lambo, I went ahead and I started a brick and mortar business. And now that business is popping in 11 different locations. And now it's creating me money every single month. Or I could have just drove around the Lambo and stunted, right? You want to be relatable. So many people bash in education. For what? If education is the number one debt in America, that means that there's a lot of people that are educated. Why are you going to bash what it is that they're committed to? People out there bashing jobs. For what? Journey of the broke. Who the hell are you to say that? Chances are you probably still got a job. And if you don't got a job, chances are you ain't successful yet. So what's good? Never go down on, on somebody's work ethic, on somebody's job, on somebody, what they're studying, on their lifestyle. Never do that. Ever. You will never hear me say that. You want to know why? Because I have employees. And you better believe I take care of my employees. I look out for my employees. I protect my employees. And without my employees, my business would not be thriving. I have employees for iMarket Live that y'all don't even know about. You got to be relatable. You got to be relatable. That's why you guys see me a lot of the times. Like when it's time for me to dress up, I dress up. I get my suit out, my customs, and I make it happen. But a lot of the time on my weeklies, I'll come in in a polo shirt, some jeans, and some Gucci sneakers. No rolly on, no, no, no flashiness, no none of that. And I show up to talk about the business. Not to flex, not to drip, not to, to talk about the business and how it is that we could change people's lives because I've been in that situation before, right? You got to be relatable, right? You have to be relatable. That's the importance of your story. Now, number two, you got at, at, at Platinum 1000, this is the point that you got to start creating a schedule for your team. You got to create a schedule. All right, so check this out. Jordan, if I told you, if I asked you, Jordan, what's your favorite, what's your favorite restaurant? And you tell me, Let's say it's Chipotle, right? Say, all right, bet. What do you like about Chipotle? Chances are you're going to talk about the convenience, right? You're going to tell me about how, you know, for, for, for you, you know exactly where it's at. You know exactly how long it's going to take. You know that the food is delicious. It's just super convenient. But Jordan, what if I went and I took Chipotle and I put it on, I put it on, on a food truck and I put it on wheels and every day you had to guess where it was. It now became less convenient. You had to guess what the menu was. And now it became less convenient. Chances of you going there went from three to five times a week down to one to two times a month, right? A lot of people run their businesses like that. They, 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 every week, new schedule, every week, new schedule, every week, new schedule. Your team can't accommodate that. Your team cannot accommodate that. But if you have a schedule, actually written out a schedule, then your team already knows what's going on. You know, my boy, Matt Green, he runs a four hour work week. Tim Ferriss talks about how it is that you can optimize any part of your life, whether it's your body, whether it's your mind, whether it's your finances, whether it's relationships, with a four-hour work week. And that the vast majority of people will only put four hours a week into something, right? Create a four-hour work week. Monday through Thursday, one call a day for 30 to 40 minutes, 45 minutes to an hour, tops. Watch the product, watch the production in your organization skyrocket. If you're a part of a schedule right now, which chances are you are, and you are not promoting it, then you can look at yourself and you can see why it is that you're not seeing the results that you want to have, right? Third and final skill set for P1000, the promotion of event to event. 
I don't promote two events. I promote through events. Write that down. I don't promote two events. I promote through events. I'm always going from one event to another event to another event to another event to another event. Bam, bam. From a meeting, book a meeting, from a meeting, book a meeting, from a meeting, book a meeting. I never leave the Miami event without promoting the next week's event, right? I never leave the, the, the conventions like Fort Lauderdale without purchasing tickets for Vegas, right? I never leave. I'm always running from event to event, from event through event, non-stop. Why? Because magic is at the events because there's strength in numbers. Chances are if somebody's not fired up on your team, they're not close enough to the campfire. I'm going to say that again. If they are not fired up on your team, they are not sitting close enough to the campfire. What does that mean, Matt? Simple. You're not involved in the culture. You're not involved in the events. Ask yourself right now, if you're not where you want to be, were you at the Fort Lauderdale event? If the answer is no, then you have another reason as to why it is that you are failing instead of succeeding. Right? If you have not, I don't, I'm telling you guys, I don't, I don't, there's no excuse as to why it is that you shouldn't be at major company events. I'm going to be 100% real. They give you months in advance notice. You got a job? Your job will give you time off if you give them months in advance notice. You have kids? Don't ever use your kids as an excuse as to why it is that you can't do something. Allow them to be the reason why it is that you need to do something, right? You have a business that's going on. Your business needs to be a duplicatable model. You have months to get it done in order to be able to leave it right there for a three-day span to invest in yourself. And I promise you guys, one of the main reasons why I'm successful today is because of the fact that I've invested so much money into... I'm sorry, I dropped out of, I dropped out of high school my, my junior year. I dropped out of high school my junior year, but I've spent more money than the vast majority of people on this call have spent on tuition in personal development, personal growth and events. And not only do I do it for myself, I do it for my teams. If you are on this call, for every person that you bring to a major company event, expect $1,000 added onto your annual income. For every person, so if you're showing up to an event and you're empty handed, guess what? Guess what? Chances of you making more money, they're not there. You need to be able to bring people to your events. This works on a weekly scale. This works on a daily scale. This works on a monthly scale, a quarterly scale, event through event, through event, through event, right? Now P2000, P2000, we're getting to P2000, $24,000 a year. $24,000 a year, P2000. That's where things start to get serious. At P2000, this is when you're at the brink of going professional in this business. You're at the brink of going professional in this business. You currently out earn 90% of the world. Vast majority of the world, I've been traveling like crazy, $600 to $1,000 a month. $600 to $1,000 a month. Look all over South America. Look in Africa. Look in Eastern Europe. The vast majority of the countries in the world, $600 to $1,000 a month. You're now out earning the vast majority of the people, right? So here's where the skill sets become a little bit more difficult. But at this point, remember, at this point, you already mastered your why, you mastered the perfect invite, you know how to use the products, you understand how to edify, you understand that you need to be coachable, you learn the importance of personal development, you know how to tell your story, you're creating a schedule for your team, you're preventing, you're promoting from event to event. So now all this is compounding, and now the first skill set that you're gonna learn is in order to hit P2000 is that you're gonna learn how to explain what Forex is publicly oh matt but i'm scared of I, I, i'm afraid of public speaking i don't i don't like it it's just not for me all right then be happy at p1000 that's cool it's not for you be happy at p1000 go trade straight up oh matt but it, it makes me nervous i'm not comfortable doing it good get out of your comfort zone not nothing good grows there nothing your comfort zone is your broke zone your comfort zone is your dead zone, right? This skill set at P2000, you need to know how to publicly speak. Now, in the beginning, you may suck at it. So what? Now, I promise you, ask people that have been in business with me for the past six years. I used to get sweaty, so sweaty, nervous, pale. I remember the first time I spoke in front of 100 plus people, I puked on the side of the house. Promise. I threw up on the side of the house and the person's mom came up to me and gave me water. 
Like she, she was like, oh my God, are you okay? And I got up there and guess what? I sucked. I was awful. But I did it again and I did it again and I did it again and I did it again. And now one of my best skill sets is public speaking. You guys want to learn how to public speak? Write this down. Write this down. It's a training. It's long. It's very long training. It's like 14 hour training, but it's worth it. I, bro I, I was able to finish it in like a week. I've watched it probably like once a year, every year of my network marketing career. Um, uh, art of pers no, it's not the art of persuasion. Sheesh. I'm going to give you, I'm having a brain fart right now. So. Oh, that's what it's called. Straight line persuasion. Straight line persuasion. Again, straight line persuasion by Jordan Belfort. We all know who Jordan Belfort is, the Wolf of Wall Street. Now, with this warning, 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 if you're going to watch this training, there's a strong line between manipulation and inspiration, right? Motivation. You got to be aware of that strong line between the two because not all money is good money. But he te teaches you different things about tonology, about posture, about neurolinguistics, about voice infliction that you're going to need to know in order to learn how to publicly speak. Um, so that's, that's first and foremost, you got to know how to explain what Forex is. The way I explain Forex, $5.3 trillion a day business, 10 times the size of the New York Stock Exchange. And then I get into the exchanging of currencies by using examples. Guys, I'm going to tell you right now, facts tell but stories sell. Again, facts tell, but stories sell. Skill set number two. And this is the, 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 or no, this is actually skill set number three. The first was public speaking. The second is explaining what Forex is publicly. And then the third, at Platinum 2000, you need to effectively be able to throw your own event. You need to effectively be able to host your own event. Guys, a lot of you guys are gonna give excuses. Well, I don't have a place to throw my own event. My house isn't big enough. First year of network marketing, my sponsor tells me, you gotta go pro. I said, all right, bet. He said, you need to throw your own event. I said, bro, but you have events every single week at your house. He said, I didn't ask you to do that, right? You said you were gonna do as told. I asked you to throw your own event. I said, bro, I live in an efficiency. And at the time, my efficiency was smaller than my smallest room in my condo today, right? And it was wild because all I could fit in there was a mattress on the floor, a little, 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 little fridge with a, with a, with a, with a tiny microwave on the top, a dresser, and a tiny TV that is smaller than the screen that I'm using right now. On, on, on the laptop and I grabbed the mattress and I flipped the mattress against the wall and I would put 20 people inside of this tiny efficiency throw on the PowerPoint and start running events in this tiny little efficiency and since then I've been running events my second company we had an apartment where it was tiny me and Jason Jason's a big dude so in a tiny apartment it was slammed right and, and Jay and I, there was no parking. Everybody that would park at our home would get towed. I promise you, everyone was getting towed. The association was paying off the tow trucking company to tow everybody so that less visitors were coming. It was the wildest thing, right? And instead, I walked into a, a boba tea shop, right? You know, those little teas with the little tapioca balls at the bottom of it, I walked in and I, I bought a smoothie one day and I said, bro, this is the, I, I was talking to the owner, I said, this is the best smoothie that I've ever had. He was like, thank you. I was like, why is it so dead in here? He was like, huh? So why is it so dead in here, bro? You got the best smoothies in Miami. What's good? At the time, I was too broke to rent a, a, a space. So this is what I did. This is what I did. He was like, well, what, what do you think it is? I said, bro, I think it's the lack of people that come in here. I think you and I should partner. As a matter of fact, if I were able to bring an extra 10 to 15 people a week in here, and they were buying smoothies. I could run my business out of here. I think we could both help each other out. He said, well, I'd love to do that. So we started running events at the smoothie shop. And in the beginning, it was only 10 to 15 people. Within about 60 days, max capacity in the place was 100. We were doubling that. 
200 people inside of a smoothie shop that we had to move it out of the smoothie shop. To this day, the owner calls me. He's like, hey, bro, do you want to host an event here? I'm like, bro, you'll get shut down by fire marshal if I hold an event there. We don't fit no more, bro. I don't want to hear any excuse. You got to host your own event. If you're trying to go chairman, you got to host your own event. Don't wait for your leader to come to your city. Don't wait for an event to happen in your city. Don't wait. Throw your own. Fire your upline. You are the only upline that you need. Throw your own event. If you don't feel comfortable explaining everything, get somebody like Gustavo to Skype in. He'll do it. I promise you. He'll do it. But y'all need to go and throw your own event. I don't care if there's three people there. You got to learn how to throw events. Because in the future, people see us on tour and they're like, damn, you get a, a thousand people in an event, 500 people in an event, 2,000 people in an event. Wow. How are you doing this? What's good? Because I know how to throw events. So since I know how to throw events, I know how to teach people how to throw events, right? So now Platinum 5000. Platinum 5000, you've gone full-time in this business. You're making $60,000 a year. The vast majority of people graduate college and they make that. This is a very big, 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 big deal. Platinum 5000. I had never made that type of money outside of the industry. I had never made $5,000 a month until I joined the industry, until I joined iMarkets Live, as a matter of fact. $5,000 a month is very important. Well, great power comes great responsibility. So uh, skill set number one, Platinum 5000. You need to be able to cover all the services and products the right way. You need to be able to cover all the services and the products the right way. That means that you're the third speaker at the event, right? You need to be able to cover all the services and the products the right way. You need to be able to talk about the nitty gritty, the, 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 the results that they're having. Don't just go up there. Hey, this is swipe trade. You copy and paste. You know, this is swipe coin. You do the same exact thing. You know, this is IMO TV. You watch the educators on it. No, 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 no. What I say is, yo, this is swipe coin. It's been around for the past six months two months of trial, four months of actual trading. On the four, on the four months that they've actually been trading, they've pushed about 12,000 pips. To put that into realization for you, you could have made you know, anywhere between $120 up to $12,000 or $120,000, depending on your account size, right? Depending on, 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 on your, uh, your willingness to risk what is on your account size. I'm letting you know right now, the trader on Swipecoin is one of the best traders, not just in the company, but the entire industry. His name is Crypto Picasso. He's been able to help people create seven figure portfolios. He's been trading for the past 10 years. And this is somebody that you can trust with your money because at the end of the day, he's doing the market analysis for you. And in turn, you're finding out if you agree with his research. He's gonna give you what it is that he saw, when it is that he saw it, how it is that he saw it, and exactly when you should get into the trade and how long it's gonna to take to profit. He's not just gonna tell you what to do, he's also gonna tell you why to do it because it's not just about making you money, it's about making you understand why it is that you're making this money. So Crypto Picasso with Swipecoin is the best part, and that's how it is that I get into my services, right? That's how it is that, it, and then I'll also, I'll also have testimonials. You know, I met this woman the other day. She was a single mom, X, Y, and Z, and I get product testimonials, and I throw it in there for the relatability. It's not just about talking about the products itself. It's truly getting into depth on each and every single one of these services, right? The second skill set that you're going to have is a P5000. You can explain the compensation plan accordingly. I, I, I asked people the other day. I was talking to this one dude out here in Miami. And he said, bro, I want to hit platinum 5,000. I said, bro, how many away are you? He said, uh, I don't know. If you don't, if you don't know where you are, how do you know where you're going? So I said, let me ask you a question. How many people does it take to hit platinum 5,000? 225, right? But you didn't know that. How are you going to hit something you don't know? How do you plan on executing on something you don't know? Somebody says, yo, Matt, how many to hit chairman 25? 1250. How many to hit chairman 100? 5,000. How many to hit chairman 500? 30,000. I know this compensation plan like the back of my hand. How are you gonna make people money if you don't know how to make money yourself? It's like trying to help somebody breathe on an airplane when you're not breathing. It's not happening. What's going on there? Rank chart, there you go, rank chart. That should be 
the lock screen, it's your lock screen. That's your lock screen. Boom. Your goals should be your lock screen. Look, I, I promise you, my goal is 30 under 30. It's on my lock screen. Your goal should be your lock screen. If you have a rank that you want, it was always when I was trying to hit chairman 500, it was chairman 500. Your goal should be your lock screen, right? Next, at P5000, you need to be able to train the team on several things. Number one is the system. Number one is the system. Remember, it's not, it's not you should be able to do the system. No, you need to be able to train, which means you need to be able to teach your team this. Number one is the system. Number two is the invite. You need to be able to teach your team the invite. Number three, it's edification. You need to be able to teach your team edification, right? Those are the skill sets for Platinum 5000. And last but not least, Chairman 10. So at the peak of this call, we had 84. Now we have 77. So that means that those people, now 76, as I was saying that, that means that those people didn't want to learn how to hit Chairman 10. They didn't want to learn what it took in order to hit that. They didn't want to learn the skill sets and the responsibilities. So at the rank that they jumped off the call, that's probably where they'll stay. Chairman 10, the bread and butter. Brett, stay on till your phone dies. The bread and butter of this business. The bread and butter of this business, Chairman 10. I'm gonna be real, Chairman 10, when I started making 10 grand a month, that's when my life changed. $5,000, it was cute. $10,000 a month plus bonuses, $12,000 a month. That's when my life changed. That's when I said, hey mom, don't touch that bill. I got you. That's when I said, hey babe, what do you want from Louie? That's when I said, yo, I feel like going to Bahamas this weekend. I'm a ride. That's when I started saying, you know what? I'm going to move into a little bit of a nicer place. As a matter of fact, I got some money to trade for real now. I don't got to trade with a $100 account no more. I can trade with a $5,000 account. Let's go. That's when it was that I was able to take my money and start investing it even more. Chairman 10. I didn't just make six figs. I made more than that because of what I invested. Chairman 10 is where it gets real. All right, so skill set number one on Chairman 10. Chairman 10. I think this is the hardest thing that people do. Everybody wants a spotlight. Everybody wants a spotlight. But they don't understand that the spotlight is not where you're going to make the most amount of money. It's when you can put other people in the spotlight. I run events in Miami and I probably do, I probably run the event myself, explain the products, maybe, maybe twice a month, maybe once a month, twice a month. But I'm at every single Miami event, every single one, and I'm the one opening the room. I edify, I'm a chairman 500. And some, some other leaders will disagree with you on this, one, or disagree with me on this. One. I'm telling you right now, most of those leaders don't make as much money as me. I'm, I'm going to let you know right now. And if they do make as much money as me, I promise you it's not for a long time. People over profits. People over profits. You got to learn how to put somebody else in the spotlight, a.k.a. you got to learn how to edify your team. I, I've seen it all the time. Oh, I'm the highest rank in the room, so I, I should be the one on stage every day, every night. Guess what happens when you're that person? When you leave... Your business ain't running. When you leave out of town, when you take a vacation, your business is not thriving. It's dying. You see, I practiced how to put other people in the spotlight so much, how to edify other people, how to grow other people so much that when I leave Miami and I'm on tour, guess what? My teams are killing it in Miami. The events are just as packed. The numbers are not going down. We're still kicking ass. We're still taking names. And we're making this thing happen with or without me here in this city. Because I learned how to edify other people on my team. Learn how to start doing that from now. Because it's a hard pill to swallow if you get up there and then you got to learn how to do it. Now, that brings me to the second skill set. You need to know how to duplicate without you being in the city. You know, when I leave Miami, I just said the team thrives. Well, what about when I'm in Miami? Or what about when I'm anywhere else in the world except for your city? Yo, real quick, real quick, let me see a 111 in the chat if 
your city has events. Okay. Go. So your cities are having events. We have people from all over the world right now. I'm not in your city. I'm not in your city. We have cities all over the world, events going on all over the world, calls going on all over the world, presentations going on all over the world. I'm sitting in my PJs in my condo in Miami running a training for my laptop. Tonight, there were massive events. My Sweden team had their official launch event today. 300 people deep. I wasn't even there. My Czech Republic team yesterday had their launch event. 350 people deep. I wasn't even there. London, not too long ago, had an event with Starboy. 600 people for three days straight. Let me say that again. 600 people, three days straight. I wasn't there. I've learned how to help duplicate in other cities, even if I'm not there. Gustavo, when I went to Arizona, what did I do? The first day that I got to Arizona, what did I do, Gustavo? Um, I mean, I really don't remember, but you, 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 I mean, you, you pretty much just, it was like a briefing we had pretty much. Bingo. Yeah. Bingo. And then I created the schedule. And in that schedule, I had everyone, the schedule was in everyone's hands. I, I went there for two weeks. I had every day scheduled, every hour of the day scheduled. And I showed them how it is that I run my business myself how it is that I run my day-to-day -day activities, how it is when I got there, I poured into them. I, Gustavo, have I been to Arizona since? Nope. Has Arizona continued to thrive? Yep. If I don't go there ever again, will it continue to thrive? Yep. I'm not needed anymore. When you're able to step outside of the equation and have your teams duplicating without you being there, that's when you've seen real success in the industry. Now, third skill set, you need to learn how to motivate and inspire. This doesn't come easily. This comes from constant learning, constant, constant personal development, constant being at events, constantly being at, 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 at seminars, constant. but you need to learn how to motivate and inspire because at Chairman 10, your responsibilities are so wide. You're not just a Chairman 10, you're a therapist. You're a bank. You're uh, an accountability partner. You're a shoulder to cry on. You're a liaison. I mean, you're wearing so many hats under the sun. You need to, people are gonna come to you. I promise you, it's, it's, it's crazy. I wear crystals and, and, and things like the all seeing eye on me at all times because I'm coming in contact with people nonstop. And these people are crying to me, holding me, telling me, Matt, I just got fired from my job. Matt, my kids are struggling. Matt, this it's negativity, negativity, negativity on what's going on in their lives. And they need somebody to inspire them. They need somebody to help them. You're going to have people that want to quit your team, right? That, that they're like, yo, I, I just can't do it. And it's going to take that one inspirational call, that one motivation call that, 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 that is going to keep them from quitting for another 90 days. You're, you're going to come across individuals, right? You're going to come across individuals where they are just a cancer to the business, and you need to be able to personally coach them and inspire them to not be that cancer in your group. Or if they leave, you're going to have to personally uh, be able to motivate and inspire your team not to follow. You see, inspiration and motivation is a big, 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 big responsibility. But you can only do it if you're personally developed, right? Um, you need to be able to close. Notice how the, the, the skill set list is a little bit longer with chairman. You need to be able to close. I, I'm gonna be filming a training on how to close very, very soon. Um, but you need to be able to close, and I'm gonna give you guys a nice little tip when it comes to closing. There is no script. Everyone is different. Every situation is different. And when it comes to closing, it's being able to diagnose a specific problem that they are having in their lives, and then being able, after the diagnostics, being able to provide a treatment for the problems that they are going on in their lives. So you need to be able to close. And then finally, 
You need to know how to remain consistent. A chairman is working at all times. You know, people tell me, Matt, you know, I went to Hawaii and my friends are like, yo, Matt, you're not gonna work this week, right? You're not gonna, you're not gonna work this week, right? I said, I'm not gonna work this week. Are you insane? I'm not gonna work this week. Yes, I'm gonna work this week. You see, working is now a healthy habit. You know, for a lot of you guys, if you guys don't hit the gym, you feel gross. If I don't work, I feel gross. I feel disgusting. I feel like I didn't accomplish anything. I don't feel fulfilled throughout the day. I don't have to sit there. Brett, good stuff. Your phone's almost there, bro. We're almost done. You're, 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 you, don't, you don't have to force the grind. It just happens. It just happens. And you feel uncomfortable if you're not grinding. Chairmen are consistent. What did I do? I haven't, I haven't taken a day off in six years. Even on my days off, I'm still working. I'm still answering messages. I'm still jumping on calls. I'm still, even on my days off, I may work a little bit less, but I never stop working. I never once stopped working, right? In Hawaii, the time difference was massive. So I would wake up while everyone was sleeping to run calls. Five o'clock in the morning, everyone's hungover from the night before or, or grabbing some seat before our intense hike for the day. And I'm taking calls. By the time everybody's waking up, I've already worked three hours. I'm good. You got to find a way to sacrifice and stay consistent if you want to be a chairman. So look, guys, you guys have learned a crit. I'm talking about you guys learned an insane amount of skill sets that you need to develop in order to hit that chairman type level. And I bet a lot of them, you weren't even aware that you had to. So y'all got some work cut out for you. So I hope you feel really uncomfortable if you go to the club this weekend instead of staying in and learning how to harness this. You know, the, 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 the 18 people or 14 people that jumped off this call, I'm going to let you know right now, they're probably going to be out in the club having a good time, right? You got to be that individual that steps outside of that norm and harnesses these skill sets because you got quite some work to get done. But if you can utilize what it is that I just taught you as a checklist, then you're going to have the opportunity to really thrive off of this thing. So I'm going to pass this back on over to the legend, Mr. Wealthy Pips. I appreciate you guys having me on this evening. This is the first time I ever run this training. So let me know how it went for you and begin to implement it effective immediately. Love you guys. And I'll see you guys at the top. The bottom is way too crowded, baby. Let's go. Sheesh, the boy, Matthew Rosa, coming with that fire once again. Yo, I'm never, ever, ever, ever doubting this, this guy because he's always going to deliver. And as you guys heard it, this guy's literally like, you know, a brother to me. Been there since day one. And guys, I literally took notes on that. And, and, and I want you guys to understand, he shared some training. He didn't even tell me this. He surprised me just now. So he surprised everybody at once. That training he dropped, I never heard that before. And it was crazy. So I hope you guys took notes on that. And to be able to get some exclusive information like that, in my opinion, literally, is probably worth upon millions and millions of dollars. So thank you, Matthew Rosen, my brother, once again for tuning in and being able to share the wealth, share the, the wisdom and, and, and the keys with my team, with my organization. And everybody on this call, I see Pauline, I see a lot of familiar faces on this call. Shout out to every single one of you guys already, because you know time is valuable. Everybody's time is valuable, right? We all have 24 hours out the day. We decided to spend the next hour and 20 minutes to listen to somebody that's made it happen and, and it's still making it happen. So guys, with that being, blessed and grateful to be here with you once, uh, once again. Guys, follow me on uh, Instagram at Wealthy Pips Effects. Also, make sure to follow Mr. Matthew Rosa as well. Matthew, if you want, drop your Instagram name in there. And guys, much love, IML family. Let's go, Chairman. Let's take it to the top. See you guys at the top because the bottom is way too crowded. Peace. Good evening.